Ugly Quilt Project was started over 10 years ago. Pastor Linda Kalock came to Martha Kirsch and I and asked us if we could do the project, similar to her church had done um, in a rural community. And I said, I'll do it if we buy a sewing machine that can handle sewing the large quantities of fabrics that we're going to be doing. And we were allowed to buy this with a donation from a family who that same week brought in $1,000 from their um, taxes and donated it and said they wanted to be, it to be used for a good cause. The ugly quilts are um, made here, but we donate them uh, to mission use. Uh, most of them go to the trustees' offices in Hamilton County, or they go to Fletcher Place Community Center, where the homeless people in Indianapolis can go to pick them out. Our sewing date is the second Friday of every month during the school year. Um, we meet at 12.30 in the afternoon on Friday, the second Friday, and um, we're finished by 3 or 3.30. You don't have to be able to sew. We'll show you what to do. We can always use uh, tape measures, scissors. We can also use um, embroidery floss uh, and men's neckties because we sew a men's necktie in the um, bottom seam of the ugly quilt so that the homeless person can use that to tie it up when they're not in use. And um, blankets and comforters. We also use mattress pads and these things can be stained or um, but they need to be clean. We also take donations of hats and scarves and gloves, men's sizes and um, socks. Also give them a baggie of toiletries, which are sample sizes. People want to come and help us, or if uh, you, can, you want to make donations, they're all available um, uses of your time and your efforts.